book. My top rated book on confidence is called The Super You. I'm sending it to you. Physical book, free. Go to the link down there. You got it. Dre all day. Dre all day. Dre all day. Today's topic is how do you win in the long run of life? We all know what the short run is. The short run is like today, this week, maybe even this year is the short run. We call it, sometimes people call it playing, you got the battles and then you also got the war, right? All the battles put together equals the war. So if your war, your life is 50 years or 100 years, let's say, the battle may be each year. You got 100 different battles all encompassing this one war. So how can you maybe possibly lose some battles, win some battles, have some neutral battles, but make sure that you always win the war in the long run in anything in life this could be in actual combat you happen to be in the military this could be as an athlete playing a sport as a just as a person you want to be a successful individual you may not even know what that even means to be successful you're just using that phrase because it sounds good how do you win in the long run anything that you do in life any endeavor no matter who you are and where you are starting even if you feel like you're not winning right now number one you got to learn to play the long game what does playing the long game mean it means when you make decisions you got to make your decisions based on a longer time frame than maybe what you've been doing up to this point. I read a book called Get Smart by an author by the name of Brian Tracy. You can look this book up and I did a review on it on my website. Go to dreallday.com slash read. That's my full reading list. You'll see that book on it. It's called Get Smart. One of the things Brian Tracy said is that there was a study done and he found that people who are in higher levels of income, they make their decisions with a longer frame of reference, a longer time frame of reference than people who are in the lower levels of income. The top 20% versus the bottom 20%. The bottom 20% make their decisions based on what is this decision going to do for me right now, today, tomorrow, this week. The people in the top 20% make decisions based on what is this going to do for me 10, 20, 50 years from now. Maybe for my kids when I'm no longer around. They make their decisions thinking much longer terms than the people who make a lot less money. So if you want to be, and you can take money out of it and make it into anything. We're talking happiness, talking success, we're talking achievement, anything that you want to do in life that matters to you. And I think all of these matter, money, success, happiness, achievement. You got to make your decisions thinking like on a longer term than maybe what you've been doing up to now. Maybe you've been looking for, and this is a simple example I'm talking about, delayed gratification versus instant gratification. The way gratification is, I can make this decision because it's going to help me two years from now. Instant gratification is I'm going to make a decision that's going to make me feel good for the next two minutes. Which one is more important to you? The next two minutes or the next two years? If you had to pick between the two. Ideally, we have both. But if you had to choose, which one would you pick between? That is what I mean by playing the long game. Number two, sometimes in life you're going to lose a battle and win the war, as they say, metaphorically speaking. Meaning, you may go try out for a basketball team in high school in ninth grade and not make the team and a bunch of your classmates did make the team at the same age as you and they're laughing at you and trash talking you because you didn't make it they won that battle doesn't mean they're gonna win the war because four years later when all you are freshmen in college they may no longer even be playing basketball and you may you may be making that team at whatever school you end up going to so just because you lose a battle doesn't necessarily mean that you lost the war what happens to a lot of people though we're talking about winning in the long run is that they lose a battle and they're like man there's no way i'll ever win the war because i lost this battle or they compare themselves to somebody else well this guy never lost the battle i lost the battle so i can never be him so i might as well quit or they allow peer pressure or what other people think to affect how they think they they don't they lose a battle everybody ridicules them for losing the battle and they're like man everybody's ridiculing me i don't want to feel like this anymore i don't want to be ridiculed again I'm not going to get into any more battles just just so I don't lose again so I'll never have to feel this way again. This is what a lot of people do in life. It, it sounds kind of silly, but it's definitely what happens to a whole lot of people and I'm sure you can think of people to whom this has happened. Maybe you've been this person, but I'm going to help extirpate that energy from you if you just keep watching these videos that I'm putting out here for you every single day. So even though you lose a battle does not mean you lost the war. Even if you lost the battle, the war ain't over as long as you keep fighting. As long as you still got bullets in your gun. The war is not over. And point number three, focus on steady progress. Another one, that, this sounds very simple, right? Sounds very basic, sounds very common sense. But this sense is so common sense, let me ask you this question. How many people do you know who you saw them one year, you see them two years later, and they didn't get any better? They still in the same place, doing the same thing, with the same ideas, they have not progressed, they have not improved, they have not developed in any way, shape, or form. The only thing that changed 
was time. They just got two years older or five years or 10 years or six months, any time frame. How many people have you known in your life? How many people do you know right now in your life who time goes by, the time did pass, but they didn't get any better. They didn't get any smarter, any faster, any, they didn't make any more money. They have not made any type of progress. There's nothing different about their lives except that it was 2016, two years ago, and it's 2018 now. That's the only thing different. You know any people who fall fit into that description? Okay, so since you do, let's not, let's not blow this thing off as common sense. Steady progress, always getting better, always improving. And I want you to understand something, to progress steadily, people, must be done on purpose. You must have a purpose to progress steadily. It's not going to happen just because you got older, just because time went by, just because you watch some YouTube videos every day. You must have a plan to continue to get better. What is your plan for getting better? What is your process for doing so? And how will you measure your improvement? Everybody, my name is Dre Baldwin. Website's DreAllDay.com. Y'all know what to do. Work on your game.